In this video, we'll learn about the relationship between operations. Operations are multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. So let's start with multiplication. When we get four times three, it means four lots of three. So we'd have three and three and three and three. So four lots of them. If you add them together, it gives you 12. It also means three lots of four. So four and four and four gives us 12 again. So four times three is equal to 12. So multiplication is repeated addition. It's just a shortcut, a short way to do that addition. In a very similar way, division is repeated subtraction. So if I do 12 divided by 3, that is trying to subtract 3 from 12, and that leaves us with 9. So 9 then take away 3 gives us 6. 6 take away 3 gives us 3. 3 take away 3 gives us zero. So how many lots of three did I take away? One, two, three, four of them. So four lots of three make 12. Therefore, 12 divided by three gives us four. So the question is how many threes fit into 12? And we use subtraction to get the answer. Similar way, if we've got 12 divided by four, question is how many fours fit into 12? So if you don't know that by heart, you can just go 12, take away 4, gives me 8. Then 8, take away 4, gives me 4. 4, take away 4, gives me 0. So we've got to come to a point where we've got 0 as a final answer in there. So we've got 1, 2, 3 lots of 4. So 12 divided by 4 gives me 3. One other thing you've probably noticed here is that multiplication and division are inverse operations. So when I've got four times a number that is missing equals 12. To find that number, what I can do is 12 divided by four, which gives me three. So you can see that relationship between them two. In a similar way, if I do 15 divided by a number equals 3. So that is the same as 3 times that number equals 15. So what's that number that I multiply by 3 to give me 15 that is 5 and same thing here 15 divided by 5 gives me 3 it works in the same way with addition and subtraction so if I do 7 add a number equals 18 so what's that number I add to 7 to give me 18? It's the same as saying 18 take away 7 equals that number. So that is 11 and that's 11 here as well. A number add 4 gives me 9. So to find that number what I do is 9 take away 4 so the reverse starting from the answer inversing the operation so that is addition now we're doing subtraction so 9 take away 4 gives me 5 moving on again with a few more examples on multiplication and division so Let's say we've got a number times 
4 gives us 16. So going backwards, 16 divide the inverse of multiplication. So 16 divided by 4 gives us 4, which is the same as saying 4 times 4 equals 16. 8 times the number gives us 48. So 48 divided by 8 equals 6. So 8 times 6 equals 48. So a number divided by 4 gives me 3. So 3 times 4 gives me 12. So that's the missing number. If you have 20 divided by 5, what is the answer? So what's that number you multiply by 5 to give you 20? Which is 4. So to summarise the relationship between these four operations, so we have addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So addition and subtraction are inverse operations, opposites as we randomly say. The same thing with multiplication and division. Multiplication is repeated addition. Division is repeated subtraction. Another thing I want to stop at is when you multiply by decimal. So let's say we've got 12 times 0 0.5. And when we multiply decimals, we stopped at this. So when you multiply by half, it means you're actually halving the number. So this would be 6. If I multiply 12 by 0 0.5, to five that means i'm getting a quarter of 12 because 0 0.25 as a decimal represents a quarter so the answer would be three or 0 0.75 times 12. the answer is going to be nine because we are actually working out three quarters of 12 by multiplying it by 0 0.75. In a similar fashion, if I multiply 12 by half the fraction, then I'm working out half of 12, which gives me 6. If I multiply 12 by a quarter, I'm working out a quarter of 12, which is 3. If I multiply 12 by 3 quarters, or 3 quarters by 12, that means I'm working out 3 quarters of 12, which is 9. If I multiply 12 by 1 tenth, for example, I'm working out a tenth of 12, which is also like multiplying 12 by 0 0.1. So that is the same as dividing 12 by 10, which is going to give me one point. 2. Or if I multiply 12 by 1 fifth, and that means the same as dividing 12 by 5, or working out 20% of this. So that gives me 2.4. And also 
percentages. So when I multiply a number, which in this case is 12, by 0 0.5 is the same as working out 50% of it. So 50% of 12 is going to be half of it, which is 6. 25% of 12 is going to be 3. 75% of it is going to be 9. 10% is going to be 1.2. 20% is going to be 2.4.